What's up, everyone? Welcome to Trust the Profits. This is El Hombre. I'm bringing you some Kentucky Derby travel tips. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is my first time here. I'm a little nervous about it. What am I supposed to do? How do I dress? Here's the first thing to remember. Number one, always remember to bring six to eight $100 bills. Nothing says class like a person flaunting their wealth. Personally, I recommend waiting until you see somebody in a particularly distraught situation like a big loss of a gamble or just generally upset. Take advantage of that. Take that time to burn a $100 bill right in front of them. Show them that you really don't care. Because I burn up my brother's money. Projecting absurd wealth is paramount. Step two, tighten up your wardrobe. Don't show up like a slob. Go in there. If you can pull off like a, you know, blue lens Bob Baffert look, more power to you. Nothing says this guy gets it more than finishing off your kit with some blue lens sunglasses like your hero Bob Baffert wears every time. Step three, educate yourself on everything you can about bourbon. Even though it tastes like Jeff Blue is disgusting, figure it out. This includes pretending to understand how to pretend that it doesn't taste like jet fuel. You know, I, I like this. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's drinkable. It, Always claim how smooth each bourbon is and use key buzzwords like, wow, that's very wood forward and claim to enjoy many varieties of flavor profiles. Really douche it up on the bourbon stuff. You'll fit right in in the most punchable faces at Churchill Downs this year. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, those are my tips to enjoying the Kentucky Derby like a true douchebag. Also, it's important to remember that anybody you meet at these races, these are your friends. You have a lot in common. So be respectful. Hello, Bray. Is that you? Will you sign my autograph? No, you rat. Why don't you get out of my face?